Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit daunting but very necessary and that is decluttering and sorting through basically my entire beauty stash. All of my non-makeup beauty stuff, hair care, skin care, body care. We're going through my backup bins, we're going through anything that's in and around my shower, anything that's just kind of scattered around the apartment, hand creams, lip balms. I'm gonna round it all up and we're gonna go through and sort through it together. This is kind of like the kickoff to my moving series, essentially. We're getting ready to move cross country if you missed the announcement. So um, if you wanna hear more about that, I'll link that video below where I talked more about it. But uh, we're moving in a month and the way that we're doing it is we're not having like a moving truck or anything like that. So a few things that we do want to take with us, we're gonna either have in the car with us or we're gonna ship them in a box. So really trying to pare down the things that we actually do ship there. If it's something that takes up a lot of space or is heavy and is just not worth paying to have it shipped there, then it's just gonna make more sense to pass those things on. So there's three categories that I'm gonna be sorting things into, the three Ps. We have pack it, so things that I'm actually gonna pack and send there. The second thing is pan it, so things that I wanna try to use up before the move. Anything that's maybe like close to being done, I wanna just go ahead and finish those things off. And then the third category is pass it on. So things that I want to rehome to friends, family, um, I'll look into places to donate as well. There's always Project Beauty Share. I'm also going to look into local shelters that may be able to use certain items. So that's the plan. I just wanted to give a quick intro to share my kind of thought process here. And I'm excited to get into it. It's probably going to be a lot. Probably going to be a long one. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am to get this done. I feel like this is, it's going to feel really good to get this done. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I rounded everything up. I think this is just about everything I took everything out of my shower, bathroom, cabinet, my hall closet where I store some things. So this is everything that I found. I think it should be most of it. So next thing I want to do is um, lay everything out on like a blanket and sort things into general categories and then we'll get started with the decluttering. Okay, so this is a lot. Um, I'm already feeling a little overwhelmed. I might actually just go category by category. So this is everything. We have like body care down here. This is like skincare, which is ridiculous. Um, sunscreens over here and then in the top area is hair products. All right, so I decided to just start with skincare because as you can see, there's a lot here. Um, v is also here to help us, but um, yeah, let's start with skincare and then we'll do hair and body care because it's 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 mo even more than I expected there to be. So as I go through all this, I'm going to have a few different bins. So one is going to be pass it on. One is going to be things I want to pan and then a things that are going to come with us, which is going to be very few things, I think. All right, so I'm gonna start over here actually with the sunscreens. There are a few body sunscreens that snuck their way in here. This is the Kopari Sun Shield SPF 50. This is like a sunscreen oil for the body. I talked oh, I talked about this in my recent faves and fails video as a fail. I just, I, I really hate the feeling of this on my skin. It is so oily and greasy. So that is gonna be the first thing to be passed on. The Polish Choice Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen is my absolute favorite body sunscreen, and this is getting pretty close to being done, so I can definitely use that up in the next month. And then this is the um, like Aldi brand Lacura La Sport Sunscreen SPF 50. Honestly, a great budget-friendly body sunscreen. This is mostly full. Um, I am gonna go ahead and keep this for now for when the Polish Choice one runs out. The Polish Choice will definitely be used up before we go. I'm not sure. This probably I won't be able to use up completely, but I am gonna at least keep it until then and then probably pass it on. I'll put it in the pan pile for now. All right, so then we have a bunch of face sunscreens. A lot of these are from my um, sunscreen roundup this year, and then I actually have a few left over from last year. So, <laughs> you're so cute, B. So let's start with a couple that I'm gonna pass on. I did not like these. The MD Solar Sciences Mineral Cream SPF 50 and then the Burt's Bees SPF 30 Calming Day Lotion. Um, both of these are mostly full. I didn't care for these. They might work for someone. I am going to go ahead and pass those on just because I don't really like them enough to use them up. Um, a few that I know I can pretty certainly use up 
before the move are these three, the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. That's a mini. This is almost empty. The Un Everyday by Unsun Mineral Tinted Sunscreen. You can see that one's pretty close to being done. And then also the Bliss Block Star SPF 30, also quite close to being done. So those three I think I can go ahead and use up before the move. Another one I think I will go ahead and pass on is this My Shell Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50. I found this just a little bit too drying on my skin, but it's honestly a really nice sunscreen if you like a very matte sunscreen. I think this would make a great one for oily skin, but um, I just don't have any desire to use this up, so I'm going to pass that on. This is one I would actually kind of like to try to use this up on the body. This is the Crave Beauty, the Beat Shield. I used to love this one, but unfortunately they found that it didn't have SPF 50 like they thought it did, so they discontinued it. Um, this might just be something I use up on the body for days that I'm not going to be like outside a whole lot, but I still want like a little bit of SPF on the body, and I don't think that would take a long time to use up, so I'm going to pan that, or try to anyway. This e.l.f. Holy Hydration SPF 30, my boyfriend uses this. Um, I think he has a little bit less than half left of that, so I think he is going to keep that and hopefully use it up before the move. Okay, so these five, the Pipette, Josie Marin, these two from Paula's Choice, and the Kopari. I actually really like all of these. So I'm not sure how long these other three face ones will last me. These might get me through the majority of the next month here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these and probably pack most, if not all of them. It's hard to say right now. I know it seems like a lot. I do go through sunscre sunscreens quickly and I really love all of these, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep all of them for now. Um, and then these three, the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Cream, the Super Goop Unseen, and the Sunday Riley Lighthearted, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass these three on as well. This one is very similar to that SPF 50 non-tinted one. I really don't like the texture of either of these. They're very, like, slippery feeling on your skin. Not, not a fan. I think somebody else might enjoy these, it's just not for me. The Unseen Sunscreen, this is just a mini of it. I can't use chemical sunscreens on my face anymore. Um, the Sunday Riley one also has, this is like a hybrid one, it has both mineral and chemical actives, but I, they just irritate my skin. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass these on. I could use them up on the body, but I feel like I already have plenty of body sunscreen to try to go through right now, so I'm just going to pass those on. I know people really like these, they just don't work for my skin, so somebody will really enjoy those. Okay, so that's all the sunscreen. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through lip balms. This is a lot of lip balm, huh? Okay, so I am going to keep my only SPF lip balm. This is the Sun Bum SPF 30. I definitely won't finish this before we meet, before we move, but this barely takes up any space. I keep this in my purse, so that I'm going to keep. And this Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm, as you can see, is almost done, so that I'm going to try to use up. This is a lip scrub. This is the Bite Agave Weekly Lip Scrub. You know, this is actually, this is a mini. It's very small. I think I'm going to try to use this up. If I can't use it up on my lips, I'll, try, I'll probably just use it up on like my hands or feet or something. That's easy to use up, so I'm just going to keep that. I have three of these Kopari lip glossies. I love these. Um, these are all the tinted ones. We have Sunset Kiss, Birthday Suit, and Pink Haze. I'm so tempted to keep all three. They're all mostly full, so I don't think... There, there's no way I could use these up before the move. Um, I definitely want to keep Birthday Suit. That could be a good just keep in my purse one. Like, I wouldn't even have to pack it. I kind of want to just keep one more and then pass on the other... I'm going to keep Sunset Kiss, which is like a nice light peachy tint, and pass on Pink Haze, which is a very kind of bubblegummy pink. The tints on these are very subtle. I mean, they mostly go on just looking clear anyway, but I do prefer the peachy one just a little bit more. So I'm going to keep that, and I'll go ahead and pass on Pink Haze. This Paula's Choice Lip Booster with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. It's like the only Paula's Choice product I've tried in a long time that I don't like. I actually really don't care for this product. I think the Gopari Lip Glossy is much better. It does have a metal tip, which is nice, but it's very thin. I don't feel like it offers much hydration to my lips. It's not quite rich enough. And also, it's one of those that kind of stings the back of my throat. So it's just, it's just a no. I'm going to pass that on. Let's see. 
this Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask, I'm like probably halfway through this now, really enjoying it. It's actually, it's kind of like a jelly sort of texture. I'm really enjoying that one, so I am going to keep that. I don't think I'll use it up, but I mean, lip balms take up barely any space, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, so then there's these four. We have the Coco Kind My Matcha, which I haven't even tried this yet. The Eco Lips Tinted Lip Balm and this one from the Naughty Goat and this like super fancy one from Madame Gabriella. Um, I think I'm going to, I do at least want to try this Coco Kind one just because I'm curious about it. It's supposed to be like an all over moisture stick, but mainly for the lips, I guess. Um, yeah, I want to try this at least. So I'm going to put it in the keep pile for now, depending on how I like it, I may or may not end up keeping it in the long run, but then these other three, I'm just going to go ahead and pass on. I just feel like between the ones I'm already keeping, I have plenty in the way of lip balms, so I'd rather just let someone else use those. All right, so then we have other skincare. I have two boxes of like pimple patches, the Alba Botanica and the Peace Out. Um, I've been using the Alba Botanica ones. I probably have, I don't know, I have two maybe like one and a half little sheets left of that. So I think I'm going to keep these and hopefully use them up or mostly up. And the Peace Out, I think I used once. I don't use pimple patches often just because I also use prescription tretinoin. So I don't find a need for them too, too often. But I think I used this once. There, this is mostly full. So I think I will go ahead and pass these on. There's no way I'm going to use up this and the Alba ones. So... That one's going to be passed on. Let's kind of go in order of a skincare routine. I have two kind of like makeup remover type products. This Paula's Choice Gentle Touch Makeup Remover, I actually, it was like accidentally included in, in an order that I placed recently. I really don't use liquid makeup removers like this. I, I use cleansing balms and oils mainly to remove makeup, so I'm sure it's good. Um, I'm just, I know I'm not going to use it. It's unopened, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it on while it's brand new. And then this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Great micellar water. I use this for filming, like removing swatches when I film. That's the only thing I use it for. I don't really use it on my face. But that, I think, as you can see, I don't have a ton left of that. So that I can use up, I think, before the move. So I'm going to put that in the pan pile. I have these three cleansing balms. The Pharmacy Clearly Clean, the Versed Day Dissolve and the Bliss Mighty Biome. This Versed one is completely unopened, so since it's unopened, I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on. These two have been opened. The one that I've been using is the Pharmacy Clearly Clean, and it's probably about two thirds of the way full, as you can see. That should definitely get me through the next month, and this will probably be the one that I end up packing and taking with me, so I'm gonna keep that. And the Bliss Mighty Biome, I really don't like this one. You can see I've used it a few times. It's super waxy and it's very hard to rinse off. So I love the packaging of this one, but um, unfortunately the product inside is just not very good. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that one on. All right, let's do moisturizers next. I think these are all of my moisturizers. So we have the one I've been using that is almost gone is this Osea Seabiotic Water Cream. You can see that is getting pretty close to being finished. So that's going to go in the pan pile, and that'll definitely be used up before the move. This one, this is the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. I haven't liked this the couple of times that I've used it. I found it kind of irritating. I really don't care for the scent either. It smells like kind of citrusy. It smells like cucumber salad or something, but like not something I want to put on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. It is almost completely full, and it's pretty new, so um, that one's going to go. Then these two are completely unopened. Again, this would, these would make great things to donate, I think, um, still in the box and everything. I think these are probably just too lightweight for me. The Peace Out Repairing Moisturizer. It's supposed to be a clarifying moisturizer for oily skin. Doesn't really sound like something I would use. And then the Dermalogica Clear Start Skin Soothing Hydrating Lotion. Again, I prefer something a little bit thicker and richer for my skin. So both of those are going to go in the pass on, probably donate pile. These three are all open. This is the main one I've been using recently and loving. This is the Bliss Mighty Biome Pre and Postbiotics Barrier Aid Moisturizer Concentrate. It's like a super thick moisturizer, really enjoying. That's gonna be, I don't know if I'll use that up in time, but if I don't use it up, it'll be 
coming with us. This is another one that I love, kind of similar to that Bliss one. I feel like they're pretty comparable. This is the Paula's Choice Hydrating Treatment Mask. It's basically just like a thick night cream. That I am probably going to pack and take with us because I did buy this myself. Um, and I will for sure use it up. This is like a must-have in my routine, so especially for the winter. And then this is the Ceramedics Soothing Facial Lotion. Way too lightweight for me. My boyfriend has been using it. He also doesn't like it, so I think he likes this Bliss one better, so I'll probably just, we'll both use this. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. I'm sure someone else would enjoy it, but neither of us is enjoying it, so might as well let go of that. Okay, we are making progress. Feeling good. I'm saving serums for last because that is the most ridiculous category. Um, let's do toners next. Let me see. So these are my like toners and essences. These are the two favorites. The Bliss Mighty Biome Milky Toner and Serum. It's kind of like a very thick milky toner. And then the Paula's Choice Enriched Calming Toner. I love both of these. I think the Paula's Choice one, I might be able to use up. I think I can at least use it up like 90% of the way before the move. So that's going to go in my pan pile. And then the Bliss Mighty Biome I think will go in the pack pile. I do want to take this because I really enjoy it. It's very gentle, soothing. Honestly, I feel like these do about the same thing for my skin. They serve a similar purpose. So Paula's Choice one will try to pan and then this one will keep. And then these two from Coco Kind. I have the Coco Kind Rose Water Toner and the Coco Kind Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar. The essence, the few times I used it, I felt like it was kind of irritating on my skin. So that is almost completely full. I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. It has like some some kind of essential oils in there. I don't know. It has kind of a scent to it. I feel like it's just not great for my skin. I'm going to let go of that. And then same with the Coco Kind Rose Water Toner. I didn't find it irritating to my skin, but I just prefer the Paula's Choice and the Bliss ones. You know, I was going to get rid of this, but I was just realizing I think this would be kind of a nice thing to keep in the fridge and just like spritz on me when, whenever, whenever I feel like I need a little refresh to like cool down because it is getting really hot here. So maybe I will try to, maybe I'll try to use this up actually. I'm going to, I'm going to try that. And if I don't, I'll pass it on, but I'm going to put it in the pan pile for now. Let's do exfoliants next. I do have quite a few of these. So ever since I've been on Tretinoin, I haven't really been using chemical exfoliants very much at all. I'll use the occasional AHA. Um, this one, this is the Acure Resurfacing Overnight Glycolic Treatment. You can see this is almost gone, so I think I'm going to try to maybe try to use that up. If I don't use it up on my face, it would be good on the body as well for like KP. So I'm going to put that in the pan pile. These other two AHA products, these are very similar to that Acure one. They're just like a leave-on AHA cream. The Derma E Overnight Peel and the Osea Sea Glow Overnight Serum. These are both great. Um, I just, I think the Acure one is going to be plenty to get me through the next month. And then I just, I don't use this type of product very often whatsoever. So there's no reason for me to pack these. If I really need something like that when we get there, I'll just purchase a new one but I don't even think I will. This, um, this right now is just way too strong for my skin, but this is a great instant mask. Um, the Paula's Choice 25% AHA and 2% BHA peel. You don't want to overdo it with this, like maybe once a week, if that, but I really enjoyed this, but now that I'm on Tretinoin, again, I sound like a broken record, but it's just, I, I don't need something this strong anymore, so I'm going to pass that on. Then, these are both, like, BHA liquids, the Paula's Choice 2% BHA and the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is a little mini. You know, I just really haven't been using products like this over the past year. So um, the Paula's Choice BHA, I probably will eventually incorporate into my routine, but I just don't feel like I need it at this point. And this is almost full. Um, they keep sending me these, so I have a couple unopened ones that I'm saving for like a giveaway. Yeah, I, I'm just going to pass these on to someone else. My Tretinoin, of course, I'm keeping. This is actually almost gone. I need to hopefully get a refill of this at some point, but this I'm going to put in the pan slash keep pile. All right, this is like the one mask I have. I put this in a project pan at one point last year. I think I've just determined I do not use masks like this. This is the Versed Hydrating Plumping Mask. There's still quite a bit of this left. Um, it says there's 12 plus applications in here. I would argue it's even more than that. Like, there's a lot in here. So I'm just going to pass this on. I'm, I'm not going to use it. All right, right, let's. it's time to face the serum category. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so let me start with the ones that 
I'm currently using. This one, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice and My Dew Drops that everyone has heard of. Um, this is actually really close to being done, so I do want to just go ahead and finish this off. Um, I like this product, I just don't think it's worth the money, I don't think it's anything that special, but I do want to go ahead and finish that off. Um, this, let's see, what else? Honestly, I think that's the only thing from here that I could even potentially finish. Um, this I've been using, I have no idea how much is left in here, but I'm guessing it's probably a pretty good amount left in here. This is the Versed Autosave Advanced Repairing Serum. I actually really like this. It's kind of like a vitamin C antioxidant serum that I use in the AM. So that I'm going to put in my either pan or pack pile. I doubt it'll be panned by the time we leave, but I do want to keep this one. This I have been using on occasion. This actually does have like a mild amount of salicylic acid in it. I think it's like 1% or maybe 1.5%, whereas the standard is like 2%, so it's a nice gentle amount of salicylic acid, and it's um, the Polish Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster, so it has mainly azelaic and then like a little bit of salicylic in there. I've been using this like once a week in the mornings, um, and I actually have been really enjoying it, so I am going to keep that. Definitely won't have it used up before we go, but keeping that. This is another niacinamide serum. This is from Advanced Clinicals. 5% niacinamide serum. I think, I think I'm just going to pass this on. I'm going to be using up that Glow Recipe one, so um, this one I'm going to declutter. This is not really a serum. It's like a breakout, post-breakout fix from Dermalogica Clear Start. Again, completely unopened. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that while it's unopened. Like I said, the vast majority of this was sent to me in PR. I would not have bought all of this myself. This is ridiculous. This Cococine Ceramide Barrier Serum, I really like this stuff. It is mostly full. I am going to keep this one though, just because I know I really like it. I have two hyaluronic acid serums, the Youth to the People Triple Peptide and Cactus blah blah blah, and the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. Um, this Osea one is ridiculously expensive, but I have really enjoyed it the few times I've used it, so I think I am going to hold on to this one. I can't decide whether I should keep or get rid of this Youth to the People. Part of me wants to just keep it and see how much I can use up. I mean, I do feel like this has gone pretty fast, and I mean, there's a decent amount left. I'm going to go ahead and keep this, use as much as I can of it, and then probably pass on whatever's left. Um, this Bybee Bakuchiol Booster, I just don't really use this kind of thing anymore. Bakuchiol is supposed to be like a retinol alternative, whatever. I just use a prescription retinoid, so I just don't think this is useful to me anymore. I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. The Polish Choice C15 Booster, this is, as you can see, unopened. I do want to try this, but right now I'm using that Versed one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on unopened. I mean, if I haven't opened it yet... I've had it already for a few months unopened, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and let go of that. Both of these from Versed, I just don't think I'm going to get around to even opening these. I have the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum and the Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum. This is another kind of like vitamin C serum. Both of these, I think I've used this, this one a couple times. This one is unopened, so I'm going to go ahead and pass those on as well. I think I will keep for now this Polish Choice Discoloration Repair Serum. I've already used it quite a bit. I kind of took it out of my rotation. I think I'm going to put it back in because I do think that this helps with acne scarring and just kind of toning down post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, things like that. So I'm going to keep this for now. When it gets closer to the move, I probably will go back through the things that I did end up keeping and I may cut it down even further, but for now I do want to keep this just because this is this is a really nice product. Here we have eye products, eye creams, eye serums, eye balms. Um, this one, the Josie Marin Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate, as you can see, is pretty close to being done. So that's going to go in my pan pile. That I'm going to use up before we go. This Kapari Starry Eye Balm I also use. I don't think I'll have it used up by the time we go, but if not, I will probably pack it just because it doesn't take up very much space. This one I've used a few times, but not very much. It's the Advanced Clinicals Puffy Eye Serum. It's almost completely full. I, I just prefer an eye cream, I think. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one. These two are unopened. The Versed, the Fix Emergency Eye Mask. I've heard really good things about this one. And I already know I love this Paula's Choice Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. So I actually wanna keep both of these and take them with me. They're pretty lightweight. And that way, once I'm done with the Josie Marin one, I'll have these to crack into. I'll probably use the Versed one in the morning and the Paula's Choice one in the evenings. This is the last skincare category. We are making good progress. So this is my Holy Grail cleanser, the Paula's Choice Softening Cream Cleanser. This, I think I will probably have this giant bottle used up before the move, so that's going in the pan it pile. This Dermalogica Clear Start Foaming Wash, I've actually been using on my chest and upper back where I've been getting some body acne. I think it's caused by my conditioner. I don't know, it just like clogs those pores. So I've been using this at the end of my shower to clean that area. And my boyfriend's been using this on his face and he really likes it for his face. So I think we're gonna go ahead and keep this. It's mostly full, so we'll try to use up as much of it as we can. Then I have the Acure Seriously Soothing Cream Cleanser. This, I've, I've honestly only tried this like once. I do wanna try it a few more times. So I'm gonna put that in the keep pile. I just wanna figure out if I like this enough to take it with me or not. I have two, let's see, this is a mini travel size of the Paula's Choice Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I would like to go ahead and use this up as well. I mean, there's not much in here. That'll probably take like maybe four or five uses. So I'm gonna put that in the pan and pile as well. This is very similar to that softening cream cleanser. They're both like a non-foaming cream cleanser. I like them both, I use them interchangeably. So we're gonna pan that. Then these two, the Versed Wash It Out Gel Cleanser and the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. These are both just like your basic gel cleansers. I think we might use these up as like hand soaps or something. Because, I mean, you know, it's a, a soap is a soap is a soap, right? So I'm going to put these in the pan it pile. I don't use these on my face, but uh, I think we'll probably figure out a way to use these up. We could also use them up as body washes too, which we might actually do. So here's that. Okay, then I have these little Walgreens face razors. I still haven't opened them. I've had them for like a year. Um, I do want to try shaving my face, so I'm going to keep these and try to use them before we go. Then I have a bunch of little samples, like little sample packets. Pharmacy, Honey Halo, Herborian, Skin Hero something, Damn Damn Cream Cleanser, and Magic Cream Light. Um, yeah, I want to challenge myself to just use these up. I mean, they're teeny tiny sample packets, so I don't think that should be too hard. All right, so moving on to body care, I have all my body lotions and oils here. So here's one that I can easily use up because it is almost used up already. This is the Andalou Naturals Shea Butter and Cocoa Butter Hand Cream. Almost gone. I'm going to go ahead and power through that. Same with this Advanced Clinicals Collagen Hand Cream. This is a big bottle. Um, I keep this on my desk, but I can definitely use that up. Probably will use it on the, both the hands and the body. This is a small body butter. This is the Osea Andaria Algae Body Butter. How much is in here? There's really not much in there. So that I think I can easily, that'll be the next one that I focus on using up for the body. This is like a tiny like travel container of some lotion, hand lotion. Um, I'm going to try to use that up too. It's a really small amount. So there's that. All right, I have three body oils. I typically will use these by just mixing them in with my body lotion. The one I've been using is the Osea Andaria Algae Body Oil. I've really been enjoying it. Um, I never would buy this myself because I'm just not, like I said, I'm not really a body oil person. But I'm going to keep using this and just use up as much as I can. It won't be finished <laughs> before the move, but... Um, I'm just going to try to use up as much as I can of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass on now both of these Pink Swan Oasis body oils. These are just like little mini ones, but um, I, I just, I can't use up all of these, so <laughs> those are going to go. So then we have a few more body lotions. So this is the one I just keep in my kitchen, <laughs> the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream. Um, this is is honestly mostly full even though I've had it in there for like two years now but I'm gonna keep it there until closer to the move and then I will probably pass it on thinking okay these are my they're my other three like all over body lotions we have the Pacifica strawberry peach the tree hut shea body butter and the Kopari ultra store body butter I honestly I really love all three of these I just know it's not I'm not gonna be able to use them all up 
I think the easiest one to use up would probably be this Pacifica one. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one, try to pan that. Mm, I forgot how good that smells. The Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Body Butter. Dang, I don't want to get rid of any of these because I love them so much. Um, and then this Kopari Ultra Restore is also mostly full. This is such a nice body butter. It's got kind of like a whipped texture. Feels amazing. So I feel like these two, the ones that I already decided to keep for the body, are probably going to get me through the next month. I'm going to go ahead and use as much of these as I can again and then probably pass them on to my mom. She uses body lotion every day as well, I'm pretty sure. So I think she would enjoy both of these. So I'm going to put them in the like keep for now pile, which is honestly what most of this stuff has become. Um, the Advanced Clinicals Body Bump Eraser. This stuff is amazing. It's just a huge tube that is almost completely full. Um, I will probably continue to use this for the next couple weeks and then pass that on, but I'm going to keep for now. Then this Advanced Clinicals Retinol Advanced Firming Cream. This is kind of like a body retinol. I really like the idea of this. I just haven't been using it. I just, I think I just, I don't know. I, I'm not at the point in my life where I really want to be using a retinol all over the body, so this is almost completely full. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Okay, a few just miscellaneous body care goodies. We have, um, this is a body scrub, the Giovanni Hot Chocolate Sugar Scrub. This I am going to use up before the move, so it's going to go in the pan it pile. The Kopari KP body scrub. I feel like between a body scrub and a leave-on treatment like this advanced clinicals one, the leave-on treatment is what I'm going to go for. So I am going to go ahead and pass this on. This is almost completely full. I think I've used it three times maybe. It's perfectly fine. I just think a leave-on treatment works a little bit better for me. Okay, this I need to stop lying to myself. This is the Kapari Pink Souffle Body Mask. It's like a... It's like a clay mask for your body. I've already used maybe a third of this, but I'm I just don't I just don't use this kind of thing. It's not really my kind of product. I I just I don't have the patience to like wait for a mask to sink into my skin before I get in the shower. It's just not for me. So, I'm going to pass this on. Okay, I have three like shaving cream products. This is like a shaving bar. It's honestly like a bar of soap, but it's meant for replacing like a shaving cream. I think it's from the brand Beauty by Earth. I don't love it. I love the concept, but I do find it a little bit too drying on my skin, so that one I'm going to let go of now. Then I have the Billy Whipped Shaving Cream and the Tree Hut Watermelon Shave Oil. Normally I only have one shaving cream at a time, but this Billy one, it was I accidentally had it on like auto ship and I didn't cancel it in time, so ended up with another one of those. I don't think we're going to use up either of these in the next month. I think we'll go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and pass on the Billy because I already, I don't love it and keep the Tree Hut Watermelon Shave Oil. This is the Shea Moisture 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash. I mainly use it as a bubble bath. I actually don't really like it as a bubble bath though just because it doesn't really create a good amount of bubbles, but I will go ahead and use it up. I feel like I have to use a ton of it each time just to get any bubbles at all, so that I don't think should be too hard to use up. Probably just another couple baths, and then if not, we can always use it up as a body wash, so that will keep and use. Then we have some deodorants. So I have this little mini of the Zion Health Clay Dry Amber Deodorant. I actually think I do want to try to use this up just because it's so small. Um, and there's only about half of it left, so I'm going to put that in the pan pile. And then Certain Dry, I have their Everyday Strength Solid. Love this. This is like my go-to everyday product, so this I will keep and probably just pack with me. And then I've also really been enjoying their new dry spray. I did do a sponsored video on these um, about a month ago. They sent me two. I think I am going to go ahead and pass on one of these. Um, my parents also really like this brand, so maybe I can see if they would want to use that. And then this is the one that I've been using. It's probably like two-thirds full, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that, use it as much as I can. Probably will take it with me if I don't finish it completely. All right, so then we have some hand sanitizers. This one from Skylar, the sun shower one, is almost empty, so that's going to go in the panic category. And then once that one is done, I'll probably hold on to this one to use. This is their beach house scent. That one I'll keep, probably just keep in my purse. And then this one is unopened. This is the Grove hand sanitizer gel. 
Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. All right, so that was all of my body care, I think. Let's move on to hair products, starting with like conditioners, shampoos, things like that. So let's see, we have three, four shampoos. The Nature's Gate um, Oily Hair, Alapui Ginger and Holy Basil. The Garnier Honey Treasures. This is like a medicated shampoo. And then the Suave Almond Butter, whatever. These are not cruelty free, I just happen to have them. So since this is mini, I do want to go ahead and use this up. I'm just going to put that in the shower and try to use it up. And these are things that my boyfriend and I both use, so we can go through them a little bit faster than if just one person was using them. So that will keep. And then this is also like both of our favorites right now, the Honey Treasure Shampoo. That one we'll keep and use up. The Selsun Blue I'm going to try to use up. There's not much left in there. The Nature's Gate for Oily Hair, we have determined we don't like this. I like how it makes my hair look and feel, but it makes both of our scalps flaky. I think it's just a little bit too drying for the scalp. So I think we're going to try to use this up. There's only like half of it left. I think we're going to try to use this up as a body wash. Because we are actually, we have just like one bar of soap in our shower right now that's almost gone. So once that's gone, I think we're just going to use that and probably that Shea Moisture bubble bath and body wash as body wash and maybe some of those face washes as well we're all about multi-purposing around here <laughs> um, so then we have conditioners this is like a travel size Zion health conditioner again since this is so small I do want to just try to use that up the Amika flash instant shine mask um, I bought this so I want to use it um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to use it up before we go how much is left in here Okay, so we have about this much left in here. So I think we could potentially use this up, and if not, I think we'll bring it with us because we really like this. Um, and then these are all of our conditioners. The Honey Treasures, this is almost gone. I think there's maybe that much left. So that one we'll definitely use up. And then I think these two, the Garnier Coconut and the Eva NYC Therapy Session. I don't like this therapy session mask as much as I used to, and there's a ton left in here. I think... I'm gonna ask Nathan. I think he's also kind of over this mask. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to keep it, and if not, I think we will go ahead and declutter that. And then this other Garnier one, since we only have a little bit of this one left, this will be the next one we use. Since these are so cheap, um, I'd rather just use these up rather than take them with us. But I think I think there's probably... We both wash our hair either every day or every other day. So we do go through these kinds of things pretty quickly. So that's the plan with those. We're going to try to pan those. So next up we have like hair styling products. And then we are done. Let's see, I have two texture sprays, the Eva NYC and the Amika. They're both mostly full, I would say. I definitely don't need to keep both of these. Honestly, these are interchangeable to me. I feel like they both do the same thing. So I'm going to keep the Eva NYC one, use as much of it as I can before we go, and just go ahead and pass on the Amika. I'll probably give this to my mom or something. Um, I also have two... or. Yeah, I have two mousses. I don't use mousse. One is from Madison Reed and one is from Amika. I just don't use them, so I'm going to let go of those. This is a another actually another texture spray, the Pacifica Salty Waves. This kind of leaked and got really salty around the top. I like how this makes my hair look when I use it like once, but if I use it many times in a row, I just feel like it dries out my hair. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. This is my one and only hairspray, the Eva NYC. Love this one. I am going to go ahead and keep that. The Amika Top Gloss Shine Spray. I, again, this is just something I don't really use. It's something that was sent to me, so I don't really feel the need to get my money's worth out of it since I didn't buy it. Um, but I just, I think a shine spray, it's, it's a little bit too, like, oily for my hair. So uh, it's just not something I'm going to use. Let's see, this this is almost completely full of the Madison Reed Tame Color Protecting Smoothing Cream. Another thing that was sent to me, I just, I'm not going to use this. I'm just not going to use it, so I'm going to declutter that. Then we have, these two products are basically the same. The Amika, the Wizard Detangling Primer, and the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. 
The Eva NYC one is pretty much full. I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. The one I've been using is the Amica one. And this one is, I think this still has about half of it left. I like this so much. It makes my hair smell amazing. And it's basically like a heat protectant spray. I spray it, or I spray it into my hand, then apply it to my hair before I style my hair. And I really enjoy it. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is probably something that I will also pack and take with me, I think. I'm not sure. At this point, I feel like it's a little too early to decide what I'm packing and what I'm packing where, like what's going to go in a box and get shipped and what's going to be in like in my suitcase. That's that's a decision for another day, but for now I'm going to keep this. This Acure dry shampoo, I don't use often, but this is one of the few dry shampoos that does not irritate my scalp. It's very gentle. I just sprinkle it into my hand and then work it into my hair. Um, there's not much of this left, so I don't want to take this with me, so I'm going to put this in the pan pile. And then this is the Super Goop Poof Part Powder with SPF 45. Really cool concept. It's basically like a scalp SPF, which I, is definitely a good thing for me to have. Um, but if I'm being honest, I just, I just prefer wearing a hat, I think. Oh, and actually, I'm just looking at the bottom. This says it expired in September of 2021, so... I don't want to be using expired sunscreens, I just don't trust it, so that unfortunately is going to have to go. Okay, last category is going to be self-tanners. I haven't self-tanned in so long, but this Ecotan Hempatan Body Tan Water, it's like a self-tanning spray water. There's actually not a whole lot left in here. I mean, well, there actually kind of is. I think I want to try to use this up though. I mean, each time you use it like a full body application, you do use quite a bit of it. So even though I think this is still more than halfway full, I'm going to try to use up as much of it as I can. This um, Winter Skin, this is kind of like a similar product to the Jergens Natural Glow. It's like a gradual tanning lotion. I really don't like the way this smells. I actually like the way most self tanners smell, but there's something about this smell that's just Ooh, it's so strong. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. I just don't feel like using that. And then this is so, so old. I've had this for so long, like an embarrassingly long time. I think, I, I think I'd be scared to put this on my face at this point just because this has got to be long past its expiration. So that's going to have to get tossed. And then this is my self-tanning mitt. Um, this is the one that works for the self-tanning water. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and I'll keep the this one for the water. And then these are little hand mitts for like little detail areas. I'll keep those. And then this is like a tan remover glove. Um, I don't really use this kind of thing. I kind of just let the tan wear off on its own or I'll just use a body scrub, I guess. And then this mitt is more for like a tanning mousse, which um, it won't work with this tanning water. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of this tanning mitt. Okay, so here's the final look at everything. It's definitely not as organized as I originally thought it would be, but this bin right here is the declutter pile. That feels really good to have filled that up. And then all of this stuff is stuff that I'm keeping, at least for now. Most of the stuff in that bin I'm going to try to pan or just use as much of it as I can before the move. And then when we get closer to time, I'll decide what I'm actually going to pack and take with me, but it'll be a very small group of products. So I'll try to update you guys on that in a future video. I am planning on doing some moving vlogs. I feel like that was a success. It was rather overwhelming to get through all of that, but I appreciate you coming along with me and uh, it feels really good to at least have sorted through all of this stuff. Um, stay tuned. I am going to have at least a couple of moving vlogs, I think. So I'll probably update you guys on like what actually did end up getting packed to come with us. Um, closer to the move, but right now I still feel like it's a little early to make those final decisions. But that's it for today's video. I am very tired. I need to eat something. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will also leave my declutter playlist linked down below if you want to watch more declutter videos. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.